Spoiler alert! Soylent Green is people! Hello, the internet! Welcome to uh, unprofessional movie reviews and unready movie reviews. We're doing the complete craptastic craptastical that is Jupiter Ascending. No. We're gonna. Now, if you saw the trailer for this movie, you know that it's it craptastic, looks bad. craptastical. It the trailer looks terrible. Um, I'm gonna make this go really fast. We're trying to do faster videos now. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, comment, share, do all that good shit. We appreciate it. We will love you to do that. Uh, and uh, the way this works, we go with our positives, and then we do our negatives, and then we do a tailored review. Boom! I did that under a minute, bitch. All right. Mm. Positives. You go first. Positives. Um, all right, this is, uh, with how bad the plot is and all the negatives we're going to get into, um, I do have to admit, it's a very well done, pretty movie. Uh, they originally kicked back the movie six months from release, it was supposed to release last summer, and everyone's like, oh, it's going to be a bad movie, that's why they did it, it's going to be a bad movie, and they're like, no, it's actually because the special effects weren't ready. Now I believe both of those things. It's, it is a bad movie, but, man, th those I'm glad they spent time on special effects and mm. at least kept me something to watch. It was, I think they're really well done. Um, the book of the part where Eddie Redmayne spends his time that foundry or whatever, that yeah. is the coolest visual spectacle in the entire movie. I, I actually really like, there's a, there's a crap ton of villains, and some of the villains were lizard people, and I actually really gargoyles. liked how the lizard people looked, too. What were I they call, called? I call them gargoyles, because they look they like gargoyles. They did look, they walk like distance. the gargoyles. All right, um, this is going to be brought up again later on. World building. I said to him midway through the movie that I really like it when a movie or a book or anything branches and tries to make their own universe star wars it's why star wars is better than a lot of things is because they made this entire world that we get to learn about we get to learn about all these hierarchies and all these different planets of this big expanded universe i was really glad they tried that i'm gonna leave it at that and i'm gonna bring it up again to my negatives okay you um my positives uh channing tatum was a positive for me in this movie. Now, I'm not saying Channing Tatum was good in this movie. He really wasn't. But he seemed to be the only actor in the entire movie that actually realized the magnitude of what he was trying to do. Uh, he was the only one to put any heart into his performance. Mila Kunis totally phoned it in. Eddie Redmayne, like... Save it for the negatives. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyway, the point is, Ch Channing Tatum, good try. Um, the visual spectacles also, I would agree, are, are good. Um, I also like it when a movie tries to build a universe. I also like it when, when movies and video games and, and cartoon series build uh, battle formats, battle systems. Yeah. Um, and they, they chose an interesting idea. Um, again, it was a, it was a valiant try, um, but I just appreciate that they tried to create a, a new battle system with the boots. Um, okay. The boots that Channing Tatum wears in this movie are They weren't like quite space rocket skates. boots. Space yeah. skates. He was like skating, mm -hmm. like rollerblading yeah. in space. Um, there were a couple of twists that I appreciated in the movie. Uh, spoiler alert. There is a part where um, the bad guys betray each other to help what you're meant to identify as the good side at one point, which is interesting. Um and there was an interesting twist about the truth behind this family that's introduced very early into the movie that was appreciated. Um, that's it for my positives. Yep, very few. Uh, moving right along to negatives. Uh, I got a crap ton of little tiny ones that I just think were super dumb and lazy and boring, so I'm going to rock through them super fast. They have cloaked things. People can go invisible with this technology. But they only did it when they didn't need to do it. They, like, were sitting in this cloaked speeder bike, and then this person's having a big talk in front of everybody, and then she's like, all right, cloak. And then as soon as she comes up on people, she uncloaks. <laughs> what the hell? Why and then bother? all these ships can, they uncloak and have a giant battle. Uncloaked in front of all these people just blowing shit up. I'm like, you have cloaking device. What the hell? That really bugged me right away. Uh, there's this thing, this really dumb thing with bees, where uh, because, as you've seen in the 
preview she's royalty the bees flock around her because they sense royalty okay first of all royalty isn't a real thing people can sense or smell on you idiot bees like like so the queen of england just walks by a beehive and they just flock and swim around her or fly around her that's dumb oh those are my small little stuff uh acting i think it was really bad eddie redmayne is probably one of or probably deserved the Oscar nomination he got in this last movie, but this movie, he I think he was the worst. I think he was fucking... Next to Mila Kunis, I think both of them were shit. Mila Kunis didn't care. She's a good actress, and I know that. But she it seemed like she didn't give a fuck. She just... Well, th- 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 her lies. This whole movie felt like a like a ticket. Like a, yeah. like a move. Like, it's for money. This movie was just all money. <laughs> the script no is terrible. You'll pay me how much? All right, let's do this yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. I Are you going to try? Here, no. I'm going to get paid, so I'm going to Yeah. Eddie Redmayne said every line like this. Well, no, but uh, there were parts when he wasn't saying his lines like this, but he was saying them like this. Well, yeah, he would yell out of nowhere. And then he'd go back to this. I wasn't going to bring it up to him, but Jeremy Irons in the, the, the fucking um, Dungeons and Dragons movie, he f- completely... <laughs> Turned into Jeremy Irons in the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Just this overacting, complete garbage. Jeremy Irons is a really good actor, and he's gonna be fucking um um uh, Alfred in the next yep. Batman stuff. And of course, he was Scar, my favorite Disney villain. Uh, anyways, see how we're not going on a Scar tangent now. <laughs> uh, too many bad guys is my other negative. Who the hell am I supposed to not be rooting for? There's like seven fucking bad guys. It bugged the shit out of me. Oh, and everything's so convoluted and the plot, it was still followable, which is why I'm going to give it more more stars than uh, in Air Vice because I could actually follow this piece of garbage. But still, convoluted, boring. Mm-hmm. I, I never fall asleep during action scenes, but I almost fucking yeah. did. Um, my negatives. Uh you brought up universe building in your positives, and I was going to bring it up in my positives, but you covered it, so I'm going to cover it in my negatives. Um, they did not build a cohesive universe well. They did not set any boundaries that they didn't immediately smash the next oh, scene. Um, right. A good example is uh, Channing Tatum's character follows along a ship from the outside through space, and then later on he gets sucked out into the vacuum of space and can't survive, so he finds a suit that also happened to be in the airlock that they use for executions. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that, um, thanks for bringing yeah. that up. No, they just, they, they smash he their He finds own a space suit in they the airlock this universe for... And then immediately meet, show us that their conventions don't mean anything. Um, another big negative about this movie is um, in the score. The score is awful. Oh, terrible. There are no... Bum, bum. It's generic as shit. They, bum, bum. It sounded oh like something God. that they just pulled off GarageBand Royalty oh, Free. Oh, it's terrible. Um, so terrible score. I almost worst, brought that one up. One of the worst scores I've ever heard of. Um, every single character in this movie is based on an archetype. Uh-huh. Uh, there's a princess. There's a legendary soldier. There's a uh, badass general that the soldier um, once followed. The rich people that can't be trusted. The aristocratic. Touched. Yeah. The it, it, They're fucking Roman mm-hmm. senators from Spartacus. Yeah. But worse, because that, that TV show kicks ass. And, um, Kicked ass. One of my biggest gripes about the plot of the movie is that the um, the police force, the military police force, knows about the harvesting of planets. But they don't do anything about it because it's accepted. They're a higher intelligence. There's a rationalization for it. But for some reason, they don't see any problem with all of the meaningless deaths that occurred at the foundry um, because of the actions of one man. Yep, they just let it go. They just flip they're just like they're just like God bless you, son. Good luck. When yeah. he goes in to destroy shit, and he ends up breaking down the atmosphere of the planet, and it starts destroying the factory, and tons of people die that had nothing to do with it. It's that whole thing about the uh, the contractor on the Death Star. Yeah. Only this wasn't even that. Because it was that the was contractors. They were slaves. Yeah, and that was a that was a military fucking. Yeah, operation. this isn't a military. And no, place this was this is a civilian foundry. This is a place where normal Joes go to work, and there's no controversy about it at all. And these people end up dying, and the police are just like, all right. Ugh. Okay. Those are negatives. There's nothing else we could say about this movie. Complete that pile of dog shit. I'm really sorry. Uh, Go watch The Matrix because it's a better movie. movie He knew it was going to be pile of dog shit. I Mm. wanted it. I was like, maybe it's going to be like John Wick. It looks like dog shit, but it's going to be great. But it couldn't make up its mind whether it was sci-fi or steampunk or something. It was garbage. Uh, I'm ready to get my fucking rating so I can go to sleep. Do it.
All right, I'm gonna give it two pointy ears. Only two out of ten pointy ears. I didn't even draw good ears. I'm giving it three backflip kicks out of ten. Because Channing Tatum does a lot of goddamn flip kicks in this Yeah, movie. he does a lot of flip kicks that he <clears throat> totally noticeably doesn't even hit anybody. But maybe his hover boots knocked him away. Anyway, like and subscribe. This movie is terrible. Don't see it. Um, oh, I'll see it if you want. <clears throat> well, don't worry. Go on $5 movie night. Yeah, like we $5 did. movie night or wait till it's in the cheap seats because it's not worth your money. Yep. Sorry. Bye! Bye.